Hey everybody, it's Casual Boops coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be covering the KV4KTTS. Uh, it's brand new to the game, it's going to be introduced in the Waffentrager event of 2022. Uh, and if you've been playing the game for a while, you've probably noticed this tank in the game files. It's been around, it's been just hanging out in like Super Test since like 2016. Like I remember seeing these things rolling around when I started playing uh, for a long time. It was, it's been on randomly made appearances because it's been on like sheriff accounts and stuff and it's just been hanging out but uh i will say a lot about the tank has changed they've updated a lot of things it used to be really shitty and it's not it's it's okay they've, they've changed some things they've buffed some things yada 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 um it's not op i'm gonna say right now it's it's fine it's a fine tank situationally very powerful but uh, it's a one trick pony i think in some you're some people are gonna love it um some people are gonna hate it in um but in yeah it's just it's not super crazy um, I will say that it is probably, oh man, it's like the second longest tank, uh, right after the TOG. Like, look at how freaking huge the thing is. Um, so, anyways, and it's all about side scraping. If you don't like side scraping, you're not gonna, you're not gonna like this tank, because that's what this tank does. If you're not side scraping in this tank, you're doing it wrong, uh, and you will die very quickly. So, that's what the tank, it's a one-trick pony, but it does that pretty well. It does that, that whole thing. So, uh, anyways, without further ado, we'll get into the gameplay. Or, not the gameplay. We're going to talk about the stats and then the gameplay. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go over the stats, and I'm going to compare it to the OG KV-4, because it is, in a lot of ways, it's very similar. It feels it feels like a KV-4, because it kind of is. It's it's very obviously front on the chassis of a KV-4, except somehow even longer. Uh, and it has a similar feel to it, and it just looks the same, kind of. Uh, but anyways... The big thing is it's got, uh, let's see, the KV-4 gun is, uh, is, uh, it's, it's, it's 227 standard pen, 289 premium pen. This is, uh, two, it's the same exact penetration, right? So KV-4 gun is okay, and this is also okay, but it's actually better because same exact penetration, better alpha, you're right, you go from 320 to 360, which is okay, right? That's for tier 8, 360 alpha feels meaningful, right? The 320 is getting kind of eh, right? Uh, but then you also, you get more alpha and also a shorter reload. And I will say, once you get a decent crew in this thing, uh, you can get this reload down to like six and a half seconds pretty without trying too hard. And then you, you can, you end up pumping out shots pretty quick. So the DPM is pretty legit. Uh, and you also, you're no shortage of ammo. Good Lord, you have so much ammo. Uh, there's not a lot of gun depression, right? It's not hull down things. You have the giant cupola on the top. We'll talk about the armor and stuff, but it's it's not. It's 45 degrees to each side on the turret. If you remember this from the old days, if you've looked at this in the past, uh, you know, a couple of years, it was like something weird. It was like 10 degrees to one side and like 50 degrees to another side. It was this weird kind of asymmetrical thing, and it's not that anymore. It's 45 to each side, which is way more flexible. That's gonna make it's way better, uh, and it feels okay, right? Uh, but five degrees of gun depression, and these gun stats are not awesome they're not they're not bad but they're not like you're not snapping in shots and you'll see in the replay kind of how it feels the other thing is because it's a tank destroyer you don't get a v-stab right the kv4 gets a vertical stabilizer so it can kind of tone a lot of these numbers down but you can't really do that in the ktts uh speed wise it's these numbers right because it has worse ground resistances but better power to weight it's like uh, is it better or worse it gets the 35 top speed it's just it feels kind of sluggish and so i ended up throwing a turbo on mine just mostly for the top speed and the traverse and the reverse speed like just the overall mobility um i would i would say it is still even then it is really sluggish up a hill it is not a speed demon it feels very reminiscent to a kv4 it's pretty it's not like turtle mark one slow but it's certainly not a fast tank at all uh, it's not like painfully slow, but it's certainly not fast. Uh, pff, armor, I'll talk about that later. Camo, who cares? If you're using camo on this thing, you're doing it wrong. Um, those are the highlights. There's another one. One other thing. One other thing I really wanted to talk about. It does get a lot more. Gets a lot of hit points, right? For a tank destroyer, that's a lot. 1400. 350 view range is catastrophically bad, but it's meant to be like a heavy tank. You are a support tank destroyer. You're meant to be playing with heavies. Here's the big thing. This is the big thing I want to talk about. <clears throat> First of all, this is like, I've never seen, uh, we looked around, there's there's like five or six tanks in the game that have a six-man crew, and this is one of them, right? 
which is awesome. I would like the K the SU 100 Y. I think that has like two lo two gunners or whatever. This has two loaders. But here's the kicker. It has a radio man. It doesn't sound like a big deal. Boops. Why is that a big deal? To my knowledge, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I looked through and we looked we a bunch of us looked through and couldn't find. I think this is the only Soviet tank destroyer with a radio operator in the game. So there's no way that you have a radio operator in any tank that is ready to be dropped into this tank. So right off the bat, fuck this tank because I hate when they do this stupid stuff with the crew. I hate this. So like you're they're artificially making it gimping it because now you're not going to have brothers in arms. You're not going to you just have to train this one crew for this one tank. I fucking hate when they do this. So right there, uh, this tank is DOA. As far as in, in my eyes, this is just the dumbest thing and I hate when they do this. So I'm going to boycott this thing. Uh, bleh. So worth noting, it's not very good for crew training because you're going to have one, you're going to have a radio, radio guy that's constantly under trained compared to everybody else because he's only ever in this tank. So there's that. Uh, let me see. So there's that. Let's talk about the armor now. The armor is pretty legit. It depends. Okay. Just like everything else in this game, the armor uh, depends on what is shooting you. And also if you're playing correctly. So if we compare to like, let's just say like a tier seven heavy tank, right? Like, uh, ba -da -ba -da like, I don't know. Like, um, shoot. Oh my God. Why is it so hard to pick one? Like a tiger one. Sure. Tiger one. You're facing off against a tiger one. Okay. Tiger one's even shooting gold. Let's say you're side scraping the way that you should be, right? So what that means is then that you've got, um, uh, ba -da -ba -da, you, you've got your, I'm going to do this. You've got a thing right here. You've got a building that you are using to, to side scrape with, and you're doing one of these, right? You're doing this. And where's my thing? This is my building you're doing this. This is what they see. This is what, this is what, a, uh, a, you know, the, the tier seven sees. Not a lot to be done, right? A tier six is even worse off. Tier six, you see one of these things side scraping in a tier six and you just, you fuck off. That's just what you do. People are going to complain and say, boo, tank is overpowered a lot like a badger hull down. You just don't fuck with a badger that's hull down. That's just what you, you don't, and you don't fuck with a KV4 KTTS when you're bottom, when you're down tiered and it's side scraping. This is like what the tank does. So if you're going to try to engage a tank doing the one thing that it's designed to do, expect poor results right so if you're tier six or a tier seven the, t the tank is god tier armor wise now again if he's not side scraping you can see right this is a roundy front bit so there's not like a lower plate you just hit it anywhere flat and this whole thing like there's there's a lot of, a lot of weak spots but if you're doing it right and you're side scraping the t the armor is pretty legit this little side bit these sides of the turrets are kind of you'll just you'll have to see about this right but having said that as again with anything else if you go with a tier 9 and let's say you're shooting a lot of tier 9s have really good guns and really high penetration heat rounds and penetration da, 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 da. all of a sudden now this armor doesn't mean shit even when you're side scraping perfectly this cupola now becomes a liability because it is just so large it's just so big and you can't hide it because there's no gun depression and if you're side scraping they can see this before you can see them so it really the armor falls off real fast when you start playing again Playing against tier 9s and tier 10s, and God forbid, tier 10s shooting gold. Here's a tier 10 shooting standard rounds. This is your brain on drugs. It, you're just not going to have a good time. This, but again, this is just like the life of... This is just how armor works in this game. Because it is impossible to make something that is... That some tiers... That something that is two tiers lower than you can hang with. But that also isn't total raffle stompy... Like, or, sorry. It is impossible to design something that has the armor that it can compete when it's bottom tier but it doesn't just raffle stomp when it's up tiered by two things by two tiers so like it's hard to make a tier eight that is competitive against tier tens and also doesn't just raffle stomp tier sixes and so this is why they've got themselves in a i'm getting off on a tangent here about game balance but here we are right <sighs> this tank has really good armor against tier tens and pretty good armor against tier nines and tier eights that are shooting premium you're going to have be fine as well, but tier sevens and sixes, not a chance, just not a chance. Uh, so that's it. And if you're not playing this thing right, it doesn't matter what shooting at you, yada, yada, yada. Um, the 40 millimeters, I mean, the, the thing has actually got pretty solid armor kind of all over the place. So like Artie's going to clap it, but it's, it's okay. 
it's all right. It's not as bad as before. A lot of or a lot of other tanks will have like 30 millimeters on the top, and this has 40. So that's better, right? So, anyway, so that's that's if you're not side scraping this, you're doing it wrong. And depending on what is shooting at you, even if you are side scraping, you're gonna have a bad time. So for that reason, I think the tank is very situational. You're gonna have some games that are you're gonna see on watt replays where this thing has 10,000 damage because they just beat up on all of the you know tier sixes in the game. Um, and that's really, you know, I think it's, is it well balanced? I don't know. I, I think it's probably going to level out, right? Um, because in the games when it's down tiered, it's going to be really bad. But in the games where it's up tiered, um, or wait a second, when you're fighting against low tiers, it's going to be really good. But when you're fighting against higher tiers, it's not so great. Uh, so that being said, now we'll get into the, uh, the, the equipment, which is pretty standard. This is going to be pretty basic field mods and stuff always the reinforced suspension always the parallax adjustment this one's debatable i'm probably always picking the view range actually it's not debatable no this one's never debatable because concealment after firing is useless uh i'm probably man so we're always i'm, I'm a try hard always running food this one is debatable because on one hand the view range is so catastrophically bad i could see running a survivability slot and like Hardening or something for like city maps, right? Uh, I otherwise it doesn't like the things I recommend are improved aiming so you can get this gun to be a to actually hit the things you aim at because these soft stats are not very forgiving. <clears throat> and then of course a rammer because you need that. And then I run mine with a turbo uh, and extra points if you can get like a pink turbo um, would be even better, obviously. Because then you can at least get to the fight and you have a power to weight that's respectable and stuff. So this is how I run it and that doesn't require either one of these. But maybe if you want to use one of these on like a, an alternate loadout, uh, I suppose. But this would be optics. Certainly don't try to rely on the at camouflage for this thing because you're just never you're just never using camo. This is a KV-4 essentially. Uh, so if you did this, it would be like, you know, it would be, it would, you, you just use this and you still, even then, not really get to not really get to view max view range. I mean, maybe if you got all the all the crew skills, but here's the thing, you're training your situational awareness from scratch and you probably don't have brothers in arms because it's a this stupid crew layout. So it's worth noting the view range is really hard to come by. It's blind as a bat and there's not a lot you can do about it. Uh, it's just, it's not meant to play camo games. So don't, don't look at this and say, well, I'm a tank destroyer. I should sit in the back. No, don't do that. Um, but this, this is not, this, this is, this is how I would load it out. Um, and it was okay. You, you will have an okay game in it. Uh, we'll get to the, we'll get to the replay now. Let's do it. All right. So we're going to be starting out playing on, uh, what is this? Ruinberg? Ruinberg, I think. And, uh, we're going to be watching me playing in my sheriff account, uh, playing in the KTTS. It's a tier nine game. There's an artillery on each side, a bunch of tier eights and no tier seven. So I will say right off the bat, this because this is a sheriff account, this is it's hard to be representative. You'll see people that are going to try to focus on me above other targets because if you if you kill a sheriff, you get 250 gold. So it's not really representative of gameplay, but it is as good as it, I could get on this notice. But you'll notice I'm actually keeping up with this 53 TP is trying. He's not faster than me, but that's also because this 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 tank right now is equipped with a pink turbo. So with that in mind, you can see how fast it turns. It actually, it's okay. It turns kind of okay. And right away, what I'm going to do here is I'm expecting there to be a tank here or on the J1 area, and there just isn't. I'm not spotted. So I guess I get to work this corner. So now I'm going to get up to this corner, and I'm going to do the side scrapey thing. This is what this tank does. It's a, Again, it's a one-trick pony. If you're not doing this, you're doing it wrong. Um, and you'll notice I, I actually was kind of getting used to this tank a little more. I was, I was not fully utilizing the DPM. Uh, it reloaded a lot faster than I was expecting it to, and uh, these guys just have no idea. Like, they're tier 8s and tier 9s, and they're not shooting the gold. They don't know the things, so I didn't have a problem bouncing the shots. Uh, again, because I'm side scraping, this, if you're not doing this, if you're not in a position where you can side, side scrape, you're, you're having a bad time. It's very situational, right? I use the map picker on the sheriff account so that I can make sure to get this game. Oh, I'm just, I'm bad. Uh, because like it's not it's not flexible right if you get this tank on like sand river you're having a bad time uh and so in order to get you guys to show you what the thing could do i specifically picked a map like this 
because otherwise it just wasn't going to happen. So right off the bat, if you have to know that some games in this tank are just not going to be very good because it's not flexible. And I'm trying to find a shot, and there's just so many things in the way. And I'm like, all right, let's do this because we're, we're up two tanks. We seem to be collapsing into the city. I have no idea where their Striv is or their T95. No idea. So we're going to just roll. I got hit points. I got armor. Let's do that and uh, we use the armor, and I'm, I'm showing my complete side to everybody, but I want to use this cover right here. This is perfect. I can side scrape off of this. They can still see my my turret and my cupola. I just, I wanted to throw a shot at that Udez. But, like, this is actually better than nothing, because they can't hit my lower plate and all that stuff. So, we're just going to aim in, and you can see. I The gun does, you got to let it baby in a little bit, but it does penetrate, right? The penetration is fine, and here we are, ready to shoot again. So, the, the DPM is pretty legit. Teaching this uh, this little uh, Italian tank destroyer what's what, and we see the back of a back of a, uh, a Carnarvon. It hasn't been a spectacular game right so far, but right now you know just in a few seconds I was able to you know get to fifteen hundred damage and the well, let's see what we can do. Lol, premium rounds through the turret of the Cax. Um, armor doesn't matter, yo. Uh, but this is really what, and then the flat part of the flat part of the uh, of the turret face, or I'm sorry, not turret face, the turret ring, and I rushed that shot. I rushed this shot and I got off to the uh, to the side of his armor, but like, this, I'm already at 2,000 damage. The damage does add up pretty quick, and I was target fixated. Target fixated on the Cax and this uh, this Italian tank destroyer. I did not see the T95 uh, come to my side, so that was on me, target fixated. So I got shot and lit on fire, and uh, so here we go. I'm turning a little bit. I use the angles. You just want to get like a 30 degree angle, and so I could use that to deflect the shots. And now I'm a one shot, unfortunately, because of that fire, um, which is super fun. And I ex fully expect that. Oh, 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 we have to side scrape here. We have to side scrape. Always side scrape. And I just wanted to throw that in because he wasn't looking. And now we're going to use this. This again. We're gonna wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for the gun. No. Nope. Nothing. No. Wait, wait, wait. But we only wait like six and a half seconds, and we try again. Okay. Success. Almost 400 damage, and we get to do it again in about six and a half seconds. So you can see this. I don't know what this T95 is doing, but while he's sitting there looking for the best shot possible, uh, I was able to slam, slam two shots into him, and we'll take his tracks off and let people do the things. It's whatever. Um, so it just the damage does add up. I will say when you are given the opportunity in a KTTS to oh, oh here we go Lorraine Lorraine wanted the gold. So that's what that is Lorraine ran in among four of my teammates to kill me because he wanted the gold And this is what happens in a sheriff account. So that's the end of my game um, Oh, there we go. All right, so at the end of the game we ended up taking home 3,241 damage we got one kill we had 2300 blocked and uh, almost no assistance uh, that was like 1,044 base XP, just a first class. Again, not the best game that anyone's ever had, but again, I just I figured this was a decent explanation of what it can do and what it can't do. It All it does is side scrape, and it doesn't do anything else, and that's the answer. And if you're playing against tier 10s, it doesn't even side scrape. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, yeah, we I think because I shoot, I shot all of the uh, premium rounds and yada, 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 without like the missions or whatever I got there, I probably would have broken even. So... Just, you know, uh, I probably didn't need to shoot as much premium as I did, but I was having a tough time with this tank, and I wanted to just have a good game. Uh, so I will say, overall, I think this tank is probably middle of the road or slightly below middle of the road, right? It's just okay. Um, nothing special. Uh, I will say that if you give this tank the opportunity to do what it wants to do, which is side scrape and, and use its DPM, then you will definitely notice very quickly that your hit points evaporate. Like, it, it did surprise me at how quick it could rack up damage in a short window of time. So, um, it's not a total piece of trash. I just, you know, it's just it's just a tank destroyer version of a KV-4. So, like, you know, three years ago, I think this would have been really good. But these days, everything's a little bit faster. Everything's got a little more DPM, the penetration and so on. I, yeah, so, anyways... I think it's a fine tank. I really don't like how they've got this as a gambling thing, but again, just like everything else with a new tank, if you don't want to do the gambling thing with the boxes, if you just wait six months, they'll have it in the shop, I'm sure. So what is that? That's like in anywhere, February, March. Somewhere around like March or April, they'll probably have this in the shop just straight up for cash if you want to buy it then and not gamble. So that's always an option. So anyways, that's it for me. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.